And, and really, that's, that's it. That's all there is to, to reset. Like I said, again, no dip switches. You don't have to add on additional modules. Uh, you don't have to worry about reset ratios. Just add in those four, those four points, and the controller does the rest of the work for you. Uh, we do have five models that we offer uh, with reset capability, uh, just standard reset models, I should say. Uh, these all sit, uh, these all ship with two sensor inputs, uh, and uh, I'm sorry, two sensors are included. They have two sensor inputs. These can also be used as floating, uh, floating outputs. And, and keep in mind the two sensor inputs. This, this one, every 775 has a two sensor input capability, but all the reset models do come with both sensors, where the yes. standards typically only come with one. Correct. Uh, this is our boiler reset model. It's a T775P model. Um, you can stage multiple, uh, you know, boilers or chillers off of one, one set point. Uh, this does a lead lag for you. You can do first on, first off. It also does equal run time. Uh, you can actually display the run time for your first four relays on the display. Uh, so you can keep track of that run time and reset it if you ever you know, switch out equipment. Uh, this model has a dedicated pump output. Uh, so on that, that, that one pump output or relay, um, you can do pump exercising. You can do a post or a pre-purge. Um, there's also a warm weather shutdown feature as well on uh, the T775 on that pump uh, output. Uh, this, this model also has the, the digital alarms. Uh, if you recall from the earlier slide, there was a digital output for alarming. You can do high, low, and differential alarming uh, with the T775T. Uh, this does ship with three sensor inputs and three sensors as well. Um, this, the T775P by itself has four onboard relays. You can expand that up to 12 relays by adding two uh, of our T775S 2008s. Those are expansion modules, um, and they uh, each have four, four additional relays. Yeah, I mean, if we look at this, I mean, up to 12 boilers this one control can handle, which is pretty wild. And also, the third sensor is typically used for return water yeah. temperature, is that correct? That's correct. PJ. Yeah, so we have one for outdoor, one for supply, and one for return water temperature. Yep. And the cost savings of having to um, get rid of those three other employees up there starting and stopping the <laughs> boilers is incredible. So. <laughs> but, uh, okay, no, it, it's a very powerful control of this one here and, and certainly has its place. Uh, in addition to the P, we have what we call our sequencer model. It's a T775L model, also uh, used for staging multiple boilers and multiple chillers. This time, you can have uh, two control loops instead of just one, as you get with the T775P. Um, this model is also uh, expandable up to 12 additional relays by using that uh, T775S expansion model, and it's also available with resets. Yeah. What's terrific about this one is you can control a chiller and multiple boilers at the same time, depending up to 12 stages. So if you have right. a a, a dual boiler system with a chiller with, um, you know, uh, I, not too many, but, you know, six stages, you could do that all with this one control because one would be your reset loop and the other one would be your standard chill water loop. Um, pretty impressive. So I've, I've used this an awful lot with, uh, with chillers, so it works well for that. You can also use this particular model to do um, uh, a heat cool change changeover as well using the digital input. We do have several tech tips that are available. Um, you know, for different applications or like that, like doing a, a changeover that might not be so readily apparent. What's important to understand in these last two models, too, they are strictly relay outputs. There is no modulating output. That's correct. These last two models. Okay. Well, that, that takes care of all the reset models from what I can tell. Yes, yeah, that's right. Uh, so in addition to reset applications, the controller can be used for just about anything. And I get people ask, you know, ask me all the time, you know, what are the typical applications for the T775? And that's very hard to, to, to really say because it can be used in so many different applications. Um, I have one guy using it uh, in a peanut factory to, to heat his peanuts to keep them warm. Um, I have another person using it over in the zoo uh, in the tortoise exhibit to warm the floor um, of that exhibit. Uh, so it can be used just in a variety of applications. Uh, standard applications, of course, are you know on-off controls for fans, motors, and heaters. Uh, I do want to point out that you can use this control for floating outputs if you have a, 
uh, a floating uh, damper or, or a valve actu uh, actuator, uh, you can use uh, the TG775 for floating outputs as well. Yeah, you got to be careful with that because you are using two relays, though, anytime you do one floating output. That's correct. Outputs. Um, yeah, absolutely. The, the applications for the 775 are, I mean, there's so many, you can't really even come up with them all. But the big thing is it can handle pretty much anything to do with temperature um, as long as it's not communicating. You'll be all right. set. Now, this is our universal model, and it's important to kind of highlight here. Um, this is a model that can control pressure, humidity, uh, CO2, uh, or it can take any 0 to 5, 0 to 10, or 4 to 20 uh, milliamp uh, sensor input, or any transistor. Um, uh, it can display actual units for you. Um, so if you're using humidity, it can display percent uh, RH. Uh, if you're doing CO2 sensing, it will display PPM. Uh, it has the a number of units you can choose from as well for, for pressure. Or you can choose to display no, no, no outputs, I'm sorry, no units at all. Uh, this is also a reset, a reset model. Um, you have uh, the ability, well, you have the ability to control to both sensor A and sensor B. Sensor A can be is your universal input. Sensor B is always your temperature uh, input. And the U2016 is a model we just released in May, and it gives you the ability to control to both. And that was important for some of our uh, customers that are, are doing um, to wine cellars. They wanted to be able to control both humidity and temperature at the same time. And then, like I said, again, this does have reset capability. And one example would be to reduce window condensation um, when you're setting your humidity levels. So uh, this is a very versatile uh, controller as well. Versatile is certainly the word in that it can take any transmitter into it. Uh, I've used this one in oh. several applications. It's a simple set point controller because you're getting plain English on the board. There is nothing really to program. It's not like those Fuji controllers, which some of you might have used, or even like a Dwyer set point controller. This is very simple, and anybody walking up to it can easily adjust the set points, and it's in plain English. I use these often with VFDs. Instead of having to program the VFD and adjust its set point if it has it internally, we can do it with this. That is correct. That is a, a very common application where people will uh, sense pressure using the T775 and then use the T775 to control the VFD. Absolutely. Uh, now we're just going to run through really quickly before we get to your question some of the standard models that we have. Um, we have one uh, con controller, which is our T775A, which just has one, one relay output. Uh, and then, of course, we offer the two and then the four relay outputs. Excuse me. We also offer NEMA 4X uh, models. So if you are in an application that has some harsh conditions and you worry about corrosion or, or wash downs, then you would want to use our NEMA uh, 4X model. Next slide. Uh, these are our modulating mo our models. So they do have the, uh, the modulating outputs. Uh, again, we have NEMA 4X models available in these as well. <coughs> 